This question is from gate 2015, mechanical engineering paper, set 1, question number 40. A ball of mass 0.1 kg initially at rest is dropped from a height of 1 meter. Ball hits the ground and bounces off the ground. Upon impact with the ground, the velocity reduces by 20%. The height in meter to which the ball will rise is dash. So this is the phenomena that is given in the question. Ball first is at rest at position A from which it is dropped to B from a height of 1 meter. Then it bounces back to C which is situated at height small h. This is what we have to find out. So first thing we can see total energy of the ball at A is equal to its potential energy because the ball is at rest at this height. Similarly total energy at B will be equal to its kinetic energy completely because the ball is at ground, its height from ground is 0 and that is why potential energy is 0. This kinetic energy is then being reduced because the velocity of ball has decreased by 20% of the velocity at ground and that is why total energy at C will be equal to first kinetic energy before it reaches this height, just before it reaches point C. So we can write kinetic energy at C and it is equal to the potential energy at C also because when the ball go, reaches its maximum height, it then tends to be at rest after which it again drops back and that is why kinetic energy at C will be equal to its potential energy. So first thing we can equate potential energy at A to kinetic energy at B because from point A to B there is no loss of energy. So First thing, total energy at A is equal to total energy at B. Therefore, potential energy at A is equal to kinetic energy at B. Let's substitute potential energy at A is given as m into g into the height 1 meter is equal to kinetic energy at B will be given as half into m into its velocity at B whole square. We can find out Vb from here because Vb is the unknown here. M gets cancelled on both sides. Vb square is equal to 2 into g. This gives Vb is equal to under root 2 into 9.81. This turns out to be 4.429 meter per second. Now we have the ball's velocity at point B. When it bounces back, its velocity is reduced by 20%. So we can find out the velocity of ball when it reaches point C, we'll start second part by finding out Vc. Vc is equal to Vb reduced by 20%. That means it is 0 0.8 times of Vb. Putting the value of Vb, we have 0 0.8 into 4.429, which is equal to 3.543 meter per second. Now, we can use this condition to find out potential energy at C, which will be in terms of the height h and then we can find out the height h. So third part, we say kinetic energy at c is equal to potential energy at c. This will give us half m v c square is equal to m into g into small h. Let's put the values and further simplify this. We have m getting cancelled on both sides. Put the value of v c, we have 3.543 square divided by 2 is equal to g into h. So small h is equal to 3.543 square is 12.554 divided by 2 into 9.81. This is calculated as 0 0.6399. So we can round off 6399 to 64 meters. We had velocity in meter per second and acceleration in meter per second square. So the height that we'll get will be in meters. Let's fill in the answer. Height in meter to which the ball will rise is 0 0.64 meters. To learn more about such examples of work energy theorem, you can refer to the MPTL video, Work Energy Theorem and Concept of Potential Energy, CH22 from the course of Physics by Professor Sanjeev Sanghi. I hope the solution will help you clear it out. Thank you. Thank you.